Hello, seventh standard. Have a nice day. I hope you are doing well. I hope you have written the test also very well. Today we are going to do video number twenty-three as cellular organization. Cellular organization. It comes under botany metric portion. Okay. Usually we do metric portion also, la. Albert and we have learned cell biology. Now we have studied the cell biology part. So then basis of classification. Two lessons we have studied. Is it not? So similar to that, this cellular organization. What is cellular organization? When the cells are organized into different groups, they are called cellular organization. So today we will start the, we will continue the lesson cellular organization. Again I say it is a metric portion. We used to do some additional chapters there for that we are referring to the text. Okay. Now this cell, as we know, cell is the structural and functional unit of life. Cell is the structural and functional unit of life that is the structural and functional unit what does it mean any living organisms they are made up of something that something is cell okay? so cell is the structural and functional unit of life and we need a cell to continue our uh, forming the tissues that into organs and that into organ system that comes the organization so i say cell is a structural and functional unit of life and it was discovered by the scientist robert hook hook spelling for book discovered by robert hook in the year 1665 i hope you understand hmm? so cell is the structural and functional unit of life was discovered by robert hook in the year 1665 and he saw these cells as honeycomb he saw the cells as honeycomb in cork cell cork la namma idu moodi vechukonda namma cork cell la honeycomb like cells abinatta namma thein gudu paathukom la and the cells la and mari polygonal structure at the and the mother he noticed so that he observed it as in honeycomb like structure so yeah and then cell is in turn we say it is formed of protoplasm cell in turn formed of protoplasm that is physical basis of life protoplasm is the physical basis of life and it is coined by the term protoplasm was coined by the scientist quickenzi so i repeat physical basis of life protoplasm it is the physical basis of life and it is coined by the scientist we can g g i a g e a refer panna seriya so it is coined by we can g and this protoplasm in turn form the nucleus and cytoplasm when i say when i say this is a cell this is a cell then i i am drawing two cells three cells Four cells, five cells. So, yeah. so now these cells have a outer cell wall. Inner to that is the cytoplasm. Inner to that cytoplasm and nucleus and nucleus. Okay. So this protoplasm and cytoplasm and nucleus. Together called protoplasm, 
Now this nucleus again based on the presence of its structure with the outer nuclear membrane. Normally a nucleus will be having outer layer called nuclear membrane. And this nuclear membrane, this is nuclear membrane. And this nuclear membrane, outer layer, it is broken or having nuclear pore which is in continuation of the cytoplasm. I hope you understand. So I say nucleus, it is formed of double layer as nuclear membrane. An outer layer, it is having opening called nuclear pore. And this nuclear pore is continued as endoplasmic reticulum that we will do next. Okay. And this nucleus, in turn, internally, it is having nucleolus and chromatin network. These are chromosomes. That is chromatin network or chromosomal network. I hope you will follow this. Huh? So this is structure of nucleus where it is having inner to that is the nucleolus and chromatin network. Now this uh, inner part of the nucleus it is have this is called nucleoplasm this is known as nucleoplasm i'll come to that next when i say cytoplasm i hope you are able to follow this huh? so now this nucleus they are further as prokaryotic they are further as prokaryotic and eukaryotic nucleus. Nucleus it is further as prokaryotic and eukaryotic nucleus. In certain organisms, normally in protist, on the basis of classification, in most of the unicellular organisms, protist, this nucleus it is not having a well defined nuclear membrane and chromosome well defined nuclear membrane so otherwise we say it lacks nuclear membrane and nucleolus and it is represented only by the chromatin network and that type is called that type of nucleus it is called incipient nucleus or nucleoid incipient nucleus or nucleoid I repeat in prokaryotic nucleus it lacks nuclear membrane and nucleolus it is just represented by nuclear material this is a genetic material as chromatin network so it is known that uh, chromatic network or genetic material it is called incipient nucleus or nuclear. I hope you are able to follow this. In certain bacteria and unicellular organism this prokaryotic nucleus will be present and eukaryotic nucleus is having well defined structure like this. I hope you understand. Hmm? With the presence of nucleolus, nuclear membrane and chromatin reticulum. Otherwise, we say well defined structure will be present for nucleus. Are you clear? Huh? So here, nucleus, see here, this is the textbook structure. With the nucleus, we don't the nucleus enlarged. I hope you are able to see this. Yeah? So nucleus, it is a spherical structure or oval body that lies embedded in the cytoplasm and is denser than the cytoplasm. The nuclei, the size may vary from 1 millimicron to 500. It is mutual, that is 1 to 500. 
the usual size ranging between 5 to 25 mu. The symbol pair is mu. Number book is the symbol pair is mu. Okay. A nucleus is formed only by the division of the pre-existing nucleus. A thin transparent membrane called the nuclear membrane separates the nucleus from the surrounding cytoplasm. The electron microscope reveals that this membrane is of double nature and contains numerous pores to allow the transport of materials between the nucleus and the cytoplasm. I hope you are listening. Hmm? The dense but clear mass of protoplasm that lies within the nuclear membrane is called nucleoplasm or karyoplasm. Nucleoplasm or karyolymph. Suspended in the nucleoplasm are numerous threadlike structures forming a network of the structure called nuclear reticulum or chromatin network. This is chromatin network. These are clearly visible when chromosomes during cell division. This chromosome, the chromatin network, they become clear and it is visible during cell division as chromosome. One or more spherical bodies that appear within the nucleus are called the nucleoli. And they are denser than the nucleoplasm. The nucleus is the controlling center of the cell. Its main function are cell division and transferring hereditary characters. The main function is mass, uh, cell division and it is carrying the hereditary characters, transferring hereditary characters. I hope you are able to follow this. Yeah? So here that is first uh, nucleus. Chariya. And then comes the cytoplasm. I hope you are able to follow this. Yeah? This is the structure for nucleus. Right? Then cytoplasm. <coughs> this protoplasm, as I said, it is one minute. Uh, protoplasm, it is a nucleus and cytoplasm. Yeah. And both of them, they are bound within the cell wall. We are talking about plant cell. Yeah. So this is a plant cell. This is a plant cell. Look at it. Now I describe and it. The structure of plant cell. Video varum. In the mari clear diagram na ni varum. Okay. So this is a structure of plant cell. Ni vandu neeta straight a varaina. I have to board varukkar. And then here will be the nucleus. This is nucleus. After this, this is chloroplast. This is chloroplast. Alright. And then mitochondria. This is mitochondria. This is mitochondria. Okay. And then as Golde body. This is Golde body. And center will be the vacuole. In plant cell, center will be the vacuole. So, yes. so now this layer, outer layer, it is called plasma membrane. It is called plasma membrane. Outer to that, outer to, outer to that is the cell wall. So in plant cell, outermost layer of the cell is the plant cell. In plant cell, scale is equal to any wood vertical. So here, the blue line, that is the cell wall. Now in plant cell, outermost layer is the cell wall. And it is rigid and it gives definite shape to the cell. 
and this cell wall it is formed of the cell wall material cellulose there are further nariya irukke but nammal level la neenga mattum padi cell wall the cell wall material is cellulose seriya and inner to that is the plasma membrane now this plasma membrane they are two layered but they are pressed together suppose idu rendu rendu layer na idu rendu press panni oru layer mari theriyum oru layer nalo idu outer layer idu inner layer illana idu first layer idu second layer sonna and the mari they are pressed that is the plasma membrane right and this plasma membrane first plasma membrane is the outermost layer sorry and inner to that is the cytoplasm and nucleus now this plasma membrane it is a thin membrane that covers cytoplasm as a surface layer the, the blue green line the uh, blue green line the plasma membrane blue line is the cell wall sorry the plasma membrane is a living membrane and is made up of fat and protein plasma membrane is living and formed of fat and protein since it is pressed against the cell wall it cannot be easily distinguished from the cell wall the press is like the blue border putting it on anala it cannot be distinguished from the cell wall seriya now the plasma membrane plays important role as it controls movement of substances in and out of the cell it allows only certain others to come out of it and the membrane is called semi permeable membrane or differentially permeable membrane the living substance the living structures that are suspended in the cytoplasmic matrix are called cell organelles or cell organelles so the correct for permission now see this is a cell single cell that i have enlarged so yeah and then this is another cell right and this is third cell so now this plasma membrane i have drawn only one layer but there are three layer outer cell wall blue line single layer and then two green lines thick right and these two layers these two cells they have lines like this here yeah. they have in contact they are in contact with the structure called plasma desmata they have they are in contact with the each other with the opening that is called plasma desmata minute opening now look like ana therinjukko minute opening that is called plasma desmata sorry then inner to that is the cytoplasm now the cytoplasm it is a jelly like transparent substance cytoplasm it is a jelly like structure transparent granular and semi fluid and jelly like cell so i one more protoplasm is transparent granular semi fluid substance similar to white of the egg nama egg open pannona white will be fluid illa and the matter in the protoplasm there are various dissolved material organic and inorganic seriya and then this protoplasm is differentiated into cell nucleus plasma membrane and cytoplasm so nam undu nucleus paathom adutha plasma membrane paathukom ipo undu cytoplasm now the cytoplasm it in cancel cytoplasm takes up majority of the space but as the cell grows the number of fluid filled bubble like structure called vacuoles appear in the 
cytoplasm. Later, the small vacuole fuse to form a single large vacuole. So now, this <coughs> plasma, sorry, this cytoplasm, it includes cytoplasm, it includes living and non-living material. This cytoplasm, it includes non-living and living inclusions. It is called the inclusions. Living and non-living inclusions. Non-living inclusions na, as uh, storage substances and then uh, lignin, uh, sorry, what is it? Uh, renin, the, the storage substances as uh, 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 grains and then uh, starch, glycogen, animal cellular, glycogen, animal living, uh, sorry, non-living substances are stored in the cytoplasm. Whereas living inclusions that forms as first plant cell in the vinyla, chloroplast. Plant cell, chloroplast, mitochondria, chloroplast, mitochondria, Golgi body, Golgi bodies, then ribosome, ribosome, endoplasmic reticulum, endoplasmic reticulum, plant cellular I am talking about, endoplasmic reticulum and vacuole. So, living inclusions in plants include chloroplast, mitochondria, Golgi body, ribosome, endoplasmic reticulum and vacuole. Now these organs, they are called organelles. These structures, they are called organelles. They are called organelles. As chloroplast, if you take, it is more or less oval in shape. And then it is having numerous lines. They are called lamella. Okay. And those lamella, they are known as stroma. I hope you understand. And then on the lamella stroma, lamella, numerous patch like structures are present. They are called grana. Grana, singular, grana, plural. These contain the pigment chlorophyll. Chloroplast is the characteristic feature of plant cell where it contains abundant chlorophyll and it is giving a green color to the plant. Now the region of the chloroplast within except the stroma and grana they are not empty. They are filled with the cytoplasm and that cytoplasm is called matrix. I hope you understand. So the term cytoplasm it differs in different structures. Okay. So that is called matrix. I hope you understand. Same way in nucleus it is known as nucleoplasm. Okay. Now this chloroplast as it is having a definite structure with the outer membrane it is called organelle. So we say the cytoplasmic inclusions which have membrane bound structures they are called cell organelles and those cell organelles are chloroplast, mitochondria, Golgi body, ribosome, endoplasmic reticulum and vacuole. I hope you understand. Hmm? So first one is the cell organelle chloroplast. Are you clear? Hmm? 
Then second one is mitochondria. Where this mitochondria is having structure. Think over here. Mitochondria. <coughs> Having structure as double layer, outer layer is smooth in nature, double layer mitochondria, outer layer is smooth in nature, outer smooth layer and inner layer is folded like this. And this inner folding is called crista. Inner folding is called crista. So this is mitochondria. This is mitochondria. I hope you understand. Hmm? We'll just continue. Hmm. So this mitochondria, it is a cell organelle as it is having outer smooth membrane and inner to that it is folded into a structure called the stale. Sorry? Now this mitochondria they take part in respiration. Mitochondria it takes part in respiration. That is take part in respiration. That is when the food is prepared by the Green plants being leached by the process of photosynthesis, glucose or starch is formed and it has to be, it is stored as energy, right? Now this stored energy has to be made into usable form. That oxidation, that, uh, that uh, uh, glucose is oxidized or by further series of chemical changes it is converted into or it is made into usable energy that process is called cellular respiration as this process chemical reactions takes place in cell it is called cellular respiration and as it yields energy mitochondria taking part in the process of yielding energy it is called powerhouse of the cell. As it is yielding energy, it is called powerhouse of the cell. It is, that is mitochondria. Are you clear? So here chloroplast taking part in photosynthesis by the presence of uh, green pigment chlorophyll. Right? And then next one, mitochondria taking part in respiration. The third one is Golgi body. Third one, Golgi body. This Golgi body, it is dumbbell shape. This Golgi body, it is dumbbell shape. It is a dumbbell shape structure as like this. Otherwise, it is having vesicles, having vesicles and flattened disc. Vesicle and flattened disc. It is Golgi body. So it is a dumbbell shape structure with the flattened disc and vesicle and this is taking part in cell secretion cell secretion any enzyme or hormone to be secreted by any part of the plant or animals this Golgi body is making a major role I hope you understand hmm? so that is for Golgi body so here it is given Golgi bodies or elongated flattened sac. That flattened sac is called a cisterne. Flattened sac is called cisterne. And in plant cell, this Golgi body it is called 
dickyosome in plant cell the golgi body is called dickyosome i hope you understand hmm? so golgi body is a elongated flat flattened sac cistern eh? found in the cytoplasm under electron microscope they appear as stack of parallel flattened sac along with small vesicles and large vacuoles i have drawn only two but there are plenty of uh, flattened and uh, vesicle will be present they are usually concerned with the cell secretion yet cell secretion that is golgi body i hope you will follow this huh? the next one it is next one it is na endoplasmic reticulum sollittu irukkaru hmm now this endoplasmic reticulum i hope you understand this huh? now here endoplasmic reticulum <coughs> see this is the nucleus here this is the nucleus okay and from here the double layer or nucleus function la double layer wall with the nucleus core so it will end in the endoplasmic reticulum will be coming like this and is connected to the cell membrane this is endoplasmic reticulum now attached to the endoplasmic reticulum is a dot like structure called ribosome this is endoplasmic reticulum attached to that is the dot like structure called ribosome normally endoplasmic reticulum is referred as er okay now this er endoplasmic reticulum while it is having ribosome that is called rough er and in certain portion there is no endoplasmic reticulum they are called smooth endoplasmic reticulum so now i repeat endoplasmic reticulum it is connected from the uh, cell membrane to the nuclear membrane meant for transport and it is transporting material from the nuclear membrane to the cell membrane or the vice versa right and then with the uh, ribosome it is rough endoplasmic reticulum and without that it is smooth endoplasmic reticulum okay and then next comes the uh, ribosome they take part in protein synthesis endoplasmic reticulum taking in transport of material ribosomes are taking part in uh, protein synthesis ribosome for protein synthesis the last one it is vacuole vacuole it is a characteristic feature of plant cell and then it is lined by a layer called a tonoplast the outer layer of the vacuole it is called tonoplast and then as the lens is vacuole it is not empty it is filled with the cell content and some of the nutrients with the minerals and ions that is known as cell sac i hope you are able to follow this yeah? so these are cytoplasmic inclusions or living inclusions what are they first is chloroplast now this chloroplast they are present in a structure called plastid plastids are of three types chloroplast chromoplast and leucoplast and then mitochondria golgi body ribosome endoplasmic reticulum and vacuole these are the cytoplasmic inclusions with as cell organelles that forms the structure of a plant cell okay i hope you are able to follow this this is the description and we have studied in detail in samachi textbook as cell structure as cell biology 
அந்த ரெஃபரன்ஸ் அழிச்சுட்டு நீ இதையும் இன்னும் கொஞ்சம் படிக்கணும் அது படிச்சாச்சு அதனால இது வந்து உனக்கு ஈஸி ஐ ஹோப் யூ அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் கண்டினியூஷன் ஆஃப் த லெசன் வந்து பிளான்ட் இஷ்யூஸ் தட் வி வில் டூ இன் த நெக்ஸ்ட் செஷன் தேங்க்யூ